Once upon a time, in the realm of my existence, I found myself at the lowest point I had ever experienced. It was a result of a misguided belief that supporting people's feelings without boundaries was the right path to take. At one time, I had been cold-hearted, indifferent to the emotions of others, but that changed when I realized that my actions didn't align with the values that a higher power, let's call it, God, held dear. I suffered greatly for my newfound empathy. It seemed that everyone around me took advantage of my compassion, and I hit rock bottom. I couldn't bear the weight of everyone's emotional baggage on my shoulders, yet I carried it willingly, thinking it was the righteous thing to do. But I was wrong. This story is dedicated to my ex-boss, a person who had wronged me in ways that were unjust and hurtful. You see, while I toiled away, giving my all to the job, my ex-boss neglected to replace my position. They knew my flaws and shortcomings, and instead of creating a supportive work environment, they made our lives unnecessarily stressful. My message to you, dear ex-boss, is that you must take a step back and reassess your personal situation before you find yourself at rock bottom. Your actions and decisions affect not only your own life, but also the lives of those around you. It's time to abandon your greed and embrace a mentality of sharing and collaboration. Loneliness is not the answer, but neither is selfishness. It is through bonding and supporting one another that we can truly thrive. We must realize that everyone deserves a place at the table, an equal chance to succeed and be heard. It's time to break down the walls of division and build bridges of understanding. So, my ex-boss, take this story as a wake-up call. It's never too late to change your ways and create a more compassionate and supportive environment for those under your leadership. Remember, a rising tide lifts all boats, and together, we can elevate each other to new heights.